Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my YouTube family. Whenever you're watching this video, I pray in the midst of everything that's going on on YouTube and in the world that you guys are having somewhat of a blessed day, blessed evening, a blessed afternoon. Um, I don't know how to say this, and I'm not going to get into all that back and forth with people about anything, but sometimes as you look and... I'm in the bedroom. I'm 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 resting. Um, I had to rest because it's been quite busy with me and my father. But my allergies are just you know they just, they wear you out. If you have allergies or sinus issues during partic particular times of the year, then you know what I'm talking about. You just have to rest because it does take a toll on you. But sometimes, no, I won't say sometimes, but. Many times you just sit back sometimes and you see what people do, see what people go through, um, observe the actions of people, um, and try to rationalize the actions of various people. And then you sit back and you look at yourself and you just breathe. And you thank God, you thank the universe that Whatever is going on or whatever is happening in the world, whatever um, is causing people to do whatever they do, within you there's peace. And within you, even though things around you are rough, there's a sign of contentment because you know the person who you truly are. You represent who you truly are. You don't sell out for a dime or a penny. You don't create for a dime or a penny, especially anything false. I'm just going to put it that way. And that's just, I'm just speaking in general in life because I don't have a dog in this hunt with all this stuff that's going on. Um, you just find it within yourself that there's a measure of peace that you can have that no one can take away from you in the midst of all the turmoil that's going on around you because you stay true to what you believe. I always say that. Stay true to who you believe and what you believe in. And I'll just go to this to this point and say this because the only reason why I try to stay from religion as far as religion, religion, because, and I'll always say this, I have issues when it comes to certain things in the Bible and because I've done studies on who King James was and all of that. So, but as long as there's a spiritual place in you that you can connect with, that you connect to, many times you don't fall victim or you won't fall into the, into the seedy side of things or the darkness of things. And it doesn't matter who else does or it doesn't matter who's representing that. You still be that little light that shineth in that in that dark tunnel or in that in that cave. Your your light may not be big and it may not be brighter as anybody else's. It may not be huge or all that, but just that little light that's em emanating from you can help somebody else and can give somebody else hope and encourage somebody else to stay in the race, stay in the fight, encourage you. Even though it looks like you're not winning, but you are because you have peace. Peace. Real life issues and real things going on, but you have peace. When things hit the world like this pandemic. And even though you think about it, you don't give a you don't give it much thought until it knocks at your door. And when it knocks at your door and you have to deal with it. And the passing of someone, of a loved one, who's got it. Then you've got other family members. Now they have it. You sit back and you sit in the midst of all this chaos. In the midst of all of this <clears throat> confusion. In the midst of, of, of all of this trying to create uh, chaos in the world. And chaos in the community. Chaos in your city, town, YouTube. But you stay at a peace and you remain at peace with yourself. 
because you see what's going on and you see the chaos and you see the calamity that's happening. And it's not just in the world. Well, I can include that in the world. YouTube, I, don't, I have Instagram, but I don't really use it a lot. But with everything that's gone on in the past, I say two weeks, there's just a measure of peace in the midst of all of this that's going on. You know, it's not good for me to try to capitalize on anybody's misfortune. Because mm -mm. tomorrow I could have that misfortune on myself, so I don't do that. I'm fully aware, very much so, that if it, if it can happen to anybody else, it could happen to me. I never would have thought coronavirus would ever hit, hit home, but it did. Um, I never thought many things would hit or knock at my door, but it, but it did. But even in the midst of that, if you stay true to what you know and what you believe, you have peace. Because God is not the author of confusion. You have peace. I keep telling you guys this, and I try to stay away from the religious aspect. And forgive me how I look, and I had to lay down. I was tired. My sinuses. I will always say this, regardless of who is coming from or who representing it or who's trying to present it the devil comes to kill to steal and destroy um and if we ever get that in our spirit not saying we want to avoid a whole lot of things and not saying we won't go through things not saying we won't hurt the sun is in my eyes I'm not saying any of that but i'm saying when you realize the purpose of the enemy the purpose of Satan, the purpose of the devil. There becomes an awareness within your spirit and there becomes an awareness within your whole being. And there's this, there's this guard that you put up. And so many times that guard is put up not because you want it to go up. It goes up automatic, automatically to guard your spirit, to guard your heart. The Bible tells us to do that, to guard our minds, <clears throat> I will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. <clears throat> so we don't have to get on here and, and run games, scams. And see how your reputation follows you. The, I'll put it this way. Because you have done certain things in the past, even though it may not be fair. I'm going to throw that in there. It may not be fair. But because you associated yourself with that particular entity, it becomes nothing when somebody says you're guilty of doing such and such and such and such. It becomes nothing for anybody to say, yeah, that sounds like him. That sounds like her. That's something they would do. Even if you didn't do it. Doesn't that make sense? So. Yesterday I thought I said, well. I thought I wanted to be a YouTube content creator and you know, do these things and, you know, just have a, a platform to speak, you know, me, my opinions, my thoughts. You know, I do it on my Facebook page a lot, but I thought this would be a great avenue just just to share, you know. But it's become, like I said, it, it, with each passing day, it becomes darker and darker and darker. And with each passing day, it's like if you don't have confusion in your I just put it this way, in your life, you come here and there's confusion, there's discontent, discouragement. Uh, even when someone is trying to encourage you, there's someone always there to discourage, or even sometimes even discredit. And it's not worth it. It's not worth your peace. It's not worth your peace. When you don't have peace, you know how many things that could happen to you? Do you know... From a physical standpoint, when you're stressed, you've got blood pressure issues, all of the things can come come to play. And see, I'm a person, excuse me, uh, I have sickle cell. So that's one of the reasons I tell you guys a lot of things that go on, I can't not, not necessarily say I don't involve myself in it, but I just don't allow things to rattle my nerves easily. And I don't give in to the hatred or to the darkness or to the evil, dislike or whatever. Because my natural health <clears throat> depends upon me staying calm, 
uh, it depends on me staying, not neutral, but it, but staying in a place where I can't let things that doesn't necessarily automatically just touch me, touch me. I can't let those things uh, become a part of me because more is um, taken away from me if I do. Like I said, my health. And then there's my father. I have to be here for him. And it's so easy to get, to get caught up in so much uh, because on YouTube, and I guess, like I said, I don't know why I'm in the B sector, but it's just so much. It's just so much, so much. Until so you just have to say to tell yourself, you know, and I ask God, I said, God, why am I in the beef sector? Believe it or not, I, I do like a lot of people. I just like them, the way they, they're entertaining to me, as Quantum would say. They do entertain. Some of them do. They really do. Uh, and I love them. I love the entertainment aspect of what they do. But when you shift and go to a different place, that's really dark. And although you once used YouTube as an escape, it's now becoming even a weight to your spirit. Then you have to ask yourself, why am I here? And you do become addicted. Quanta, you're right. You do become addicted to YouTube. And like I told some people, I haven't, actually my TV hadn't been on and I know in about a month. <laughs> I've been on YouTube trying to keep up with videos and, you know, listen to all the different sides of everything and, you know, being cussed out, being called names all that and again that doesn't phase me um because i do really look at it like this my soul is at stake my peace is at stake my sanity is at stake is at stake my character is at stake and it's not so much for you guys but for me i don't want to become lost in the hatred and i don't want to become lost in the lies i don't want to become lost in the darkness i don't i don't i don't i don't because God has given us so much more than that. And let me tell you something. Well, I don't want anybody to take it uh, in the wrong way. It's not that my father and I are just blessed, 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 but we're blessed. We're blessed. Um, and I take absolutely nothing that has been granted to us, however it's given, however it's granted, for granted. I don't take it for granted. <laughs> Because a lot of you, take, you take so many things for granted. Your life, your family. You. Consider yourself. What are you taking for granted when it comes to you? Your peace. Your joy. Your happiness. Your stability. Your, stand, your sanity. What do, that's why I don't get bogged down or get tied up into a lot of the little different things that go on. Because it's so easy to become jaded. Because we like somebody. Or because we follow them. Or, or all of that. It's very easy. To allow. Ourselves to become. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Become just as jaded. About people. As others. But you have to step back from all of this. You really have to separate yourself from this. You have to separate your spirit from this. Your heart from this. And your mind from this. And come back to the realization of who you really are. And what it is you stand for and what it is you believe. And let nothing and no one change that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Your life means something to somebody and your life matters. And it's not worth you losing all that has been invested in you. As a human... To relinquish that over nothing, it's not worth it. So I know I'm, I'm, this message is, you know, not, probably not making a lot of sense to you guys. But after watching so much stuff and the things that I deal with on a daily basis, and I'm not complaining, it is life, people, life. Things happen. You go through things. You learn your lessons. I always say this in videos. You go through things. And when you go through those things, there are lessons to be learned in going through those things. Take heed to the lessons. Take heed to the lessons. Ask, what, it, what is it am I supposed to learn from this? What am I supposed to gather from this? Ask yourself that. And then be quiet so you can hear the answer. 
Sometimes it's good just to shut up and just listen. But I guess that's all I wanted to say. I guess this past three weeks and everything that's going on has been such, it's, it's like the entertainment aspect of it all is becoming too dark or becoming really dark. And the part where you would come and someone would make a little joke and you would laugh and you would have a little giggle and you would go on is now become, oh God, oh no. And what's wrong? What's happening? It's no longer entertainment or entertaining. It's just draining and exhausting. And people are mad everywhere. The world is already in chaos and confusion because of this pandemic and no one knows when this thing will go away and people are still dying every day from this and the the people are getting this coronavirus the people who become susceptible to it i'm tired and the people who are up getting the disease though that number is growing daily because you can walk around and have it and never show a symptom but you can still give it to others so there's a fear and maybe it's, it's an unspoken fear, but there's a fear in the world, in the universe. And then you've got George Floyd. And it's, it all goes back to this, and you guys may not believe me, but I'm telling you the truth. You know how you say, our roads lead to this and our roads lead to that. In this situation and in the chaos that the world is in, read Revelations. The Bible speaks of all of this. All of this. And so when it comes, because I understand... Not to say that I like it, not to say that it feels good, not to say that I just want it, but it is, as you guys say, it is what it is. Thus saith the Lord. That's the, that's the Bible. It's in there. So, don't lose your peace. And if you don't have it, ask God for it. If he can give it, um, well, if he can give a measure of peace to me, and all the things, and for those of you who take care of uh, loved ones or who take care of anyone who's disabled, who's totally disabled, and they're relying upon you to live, understand. There's a place. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Most High. And I may be saying it wrong because I'm, I'm tired. My sinuses have me so confused. He that dwelleth in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say in the Lord, He is my strength. He is my refuge. And people, that's all I have. Once I if if I lose that, there's no hope for me. There's just none. And so I relish the peace. Whatever measure of peace that I can obtain, or whatever measure of peace that I can get, I treasure it. And I hold on it for dear life, not for just me, for my, for my father. Because I refuse to let anything or anybody with his sickness or with his illness destroy what little peace he may have. Because when you have that, your body's sick and you're tired and you're stressed and you're trying to make heads or tails out of things. You're trying to live just a daily life. That little piece may be the only thing they have that keeps you to hold on and keeps you holding on and keeps you pushing and keeps you going further and keep trying, never giving up. Body is tired. Mind is tired. You're tired of thinking and wrestling with people, trying to get this done and that done and everything around you, just chaos. It's the small measure of peace in knowing who you are, in whom you are, and in what you believe that keeps you breathing, that keeps you living, that keeps you going. Remember, I love you, but God does love you so, 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 so much more. Be blessed.